Okay, so today I'm going to ask and answer one simple question. Should you watch BoJack Horseman? So we're going to start off with reasons to watch it, and then we're going to end it off with reasons why you shouldn't watch it, just to keep it nice and balanced and fair. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. But before all that, I want to explain a bit of what Bojack Horseman actually is, just to give you a bit of an understanding. So Bojack Horseman is about a horse actor which starred in a widely successful 90s sitcom called Horsing Around. This show explores his life in the present day, as he's out of the limelight, as he struggles to identify himself outside of the show that he starred in. So with that brief introduction out of the way, we're going to start off with reasons why you should watch Bojack Horseman. I want to start off with talking about how they use comedy to touch on serious subjects without making fun of them. For example, there's a lot of moments that are extremely serious in the show, and a little bit of comedy just makes it feel less tense and awkward. And it makes the show feel a little bit more fluid, instead of just serious all the way through and then dropping it back into the comedy, which some shows do, which could make it feel very forced. For example, this clip from Friends. After I dumped on the way he was going to propose to me, I don't think he's ever going to ask again. I mean, I said no in Barbados, and now this? She's right. If I were a guy, and... <laughs> Did I just say, if I were a guy? The second point I want to make is the sheer amount of references in this show which just genuinely takes the piss out of everything Hollywood stands for. And so it should, because comedies should just be comedies. People shouldn't take them too seriously. And I like how this show doesn't stray away from a lot of the jokes that it's made, and it continues to make. There's also a bit in this show that touches on cancel culture, which I won't spoil, but when you get up to that bit you'll understand what I'm talking about in the sense of how stupid cancel culture can be sometimes and also how easy it is for the media to forgive a big celebrity just because they're a big celebrity you're a real stupid piece of shit but i know i'm a piece of shit that at least makes me better than all the pieces of shit who don't know they're pieces of shit or is it worse breakfast oh i don't deserve breakfast shut up don't feel sorry for yourself what does that do get breakfast you stupid fat ass <sighs> These are cookies. This is not breakfast. You are eating cookies. Stop it. Stop eating cookies and go make yourself breakfast. Stop it. Don't eat one more cookie. Put that cookie down. Do not eat that cookie. I can't believe you eat that cookie. We live in a society. <laughs> this show is best suited for people with a darker sense of humor, but even if you don't have the darkest sense of humor, you can still enjoy a lot of this show. This show has a decent balance between dark edgy humour and just regular taking the piss out of something kind of humour, which I quite enjoy. The final side note I want to make before I go on to reasons why you shouldn't watch is the first season is a bit slow, but if you stick with the show it does get better over time. It's a slow burner instead of just a decent season one and then gradually gets worse. It starts off Still decent in, st in the start of season one, but it just gradually gets better as the seasons go on and the story starts to develop further. Now granted, I found it really hard to find reasons not to watch this show, and I still don't really see many reasons why you shouldn't, but I guess if you complain on Twitter a lot about everything, I'd probably stay away. And if you just genuinely don't like edgy humour, that's probably another one why you shouldn't. But other than that, yeah, do it, watch it. Should you watch Bojack Horseman? Yeah. What are you doing still watching this? Go watch Bojack Horseman.